Shanahan with Shanahan and Company Sports Management. My wife, Vicki, we own uh, the management company and we're excited to be a part of this uh, wonderful, wonderful event that's going to be coming next week. There are a few people I'd like to, first of all, thank. I want to thank, uh, hey, Jeff Zona with Buddy Saucy Dogs, everybody. Do you like his dogs? Uh, Jeff, what's your location again so everybody knows? Next to? All right, okay, so please show your support for local Lexington County businesses like Jeff Zona. That was, I had the German Shepherd and it was excellent. Thank you, Jeff. Also, I'd like to introduce the um, chairman of the Lexington County Recreation and Aging Commission, Larry Mack. Uh, this event, Larry, come on up. This event, of course, is uh, presented by the Lexington County Recreation and Aging Commission and Larry, have you say a few words? Oh, yeah. Th thank you. Well, we're excited about this. We know that uh, the Salvation Army done a super job when we had our shelter opened over at the uh, Aging Center here in Lexington. And anything that we can do to help, we certainly want to. And we're just excited about the event. We want to thank Bill for what he does and uh, showcasing this and how it's going to help our county as well as our flood victims. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'd like to uh, mention also the chairman of the Lexington County Council, Johnny Jeffcoat, for being here today. Thank you so much for all your support of the of this ballpark getting built, as well as all the events that are coming. And Sheriff Jay Coon, uh, it's great to have you here. You're welcome anytime. All right. Um, back there, I also see the Lexington Chamber president hiding back there somewhere, ran, eating a saucy dog, Randy Halfacre. Great support of all of us out here. Thanks, thanks for being here today. At this time, I would like to um, introduce the Major Roger Colson of the Salvation Army of the Midlands. This, uh, this game is being played. The proceeds are going to benefit the Salvation, Ar Salvation Army of the Midlands. Major? First of all, let me say thank you to everybody who's helped uh, make this a reality. Uh, it's an exciting day at the Salvation Army when people who are coming to us for help, you're able to tell them yes. And uh, especially during the times of flood relief, uh, we want to be able to say yes uh, as often as we can. And obviously, uh, we're so appreciative to all of the folks, the teams, the players, the sponsors, uh, for what they're doing to make it possible for the Salvation Army to continue the relief uh, that's going on. Over 50,000 plus hot meals were provided uh, during the, the initial phase of flood relief, and now we're still in the next 30 days of providing emergency assistance. Uh, our hope is as we continue to raise funds, is the Salvation Army throughout South Carolina and the impacted areas will be able to transition into more restoration work and with the partnerships that we have with a lot of the wonderful organizations that have already existed here in South Carolina before the flooding. And uh, as we've reminded folks over and over again, we're all going to continue to be here long after uh, the last uh, bit of work is complete. So we want to encourage everyone to come out and support the teams, have a great time. Uh, certainly after these many weeks of hard work, we all need an opportunity to come out and enjoy ourselves and to remind ourselves of what makes South Carolina such a great state and what makes our community here such a wonderful place to live. So I look forward to seeing all of you out uh, on the game night and um, we're looking forward to a great game. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Major. A couple other people I'd like to acknowledge. I noticed Owen Scoff, who is one of the commissioners of the Lexington County Recreation and Aging Commission. Uh, thank you for all your support to help make this happen. And then, you know, there's always someone behind the scenes that really makes things go to make these kind of events go. And he doesn't like to be in the spotlight, but I know that Chad and I would like to, and all with Lexington County Recreation and Lexington County, a big thank you to Tommy Frazier. Tommy's right back there, Tommy. Tommy uh, oversees the Lexington Dixie U Sports Complex, but also oversees this facility, and he has worked tirelessly with uh, Chad and uh, USC uh, to get this off the ground uh, for our ballpark. You know, uh, we got baseball started here at the end of May. We had our first non-baseball event just last Saturday for a good cause. Uh, it was a Lexington County Chili Cook-Off, 
and Bluegrass Festival. It was a great day. We raised over $1,000 for uh, uh, Lexington Interfaith Community Services, and now we get to use our stadium again uh, to help, help our community. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this doesn't happen unless we have the support uh, of uh, the USC head baseball coach of South Carolina, Chad Holbrook. Well, thank you. Um, it's uh, an honor for our team and our players and our program to be a small part of the recovery. And we can't thank the folks of Lexington enough for having us. I know firsthand uh, how much uh, the folks here in Lexington love baseball because I reside here. And I get to see how hard these folks work around here from hosting different events. And uh, it's a lot of good, hardworking people here. And, and our players are some good kids that want to help and want to give back. And as a, their coach, I couldn't be more proud of them. And uh, we have some Lexington kids that actually played down at the high school that are on our team. You know, Josh Reagan, Colin Stegall, Coley Bowers, Jared Williams played down at, uh, at Gilbert, and he was a member of the Blowfish this past summer. So we got some kids that want to be here and want to help. And uh, I couldn't be more excited to be a part of it. I think we're going to have a great night. When you play a baseball game with the University of South Carolina in a town that loves baseball like Lexington, for a great cause, uh, and it makes for a special night. And I have no doubt it'll be a night that we'll remember for a long time. And we couldn't thank uh, the folks at Lexington enough for helping us make this happen. And we're happy to give back to the Salvation Army of the Midlands and be a small part of the recovery process. And our players are excited about it. And uh, they look forward to giving back. Uh, we, can't have, we can't wait to have a great evening. So thank you guys. Well, that's it. Uh, I, this is really exciting. Uh, uh, Johnny, I'm just thinking about when uh, the vision to uh, build this stadium and uh, Lexington County looked at this uh, not just for one team, but for year round activity and for $3 million in change, I think Lexington County got their money's worth. So we want to thank all of those with the Lexington County Recreation Agent Commission and also say hi to BJ back there that again, someone behind the scenes, the assistant athletic director for the Lexington County Recreation Agent Commission that makes a lot of these things go. So here we go, Lexington County Baseball Stadium, USC Gamecocks. Wow, I'm excited and I am, I can't wait till next Thursday. Tickets go on sale in about 40 minutes online. So you'll be getting the, the press release, and if you want uh, uh, interviews with Coach Holbrook or anybody else, we are now available. Again, a big thank you to Jeff Zona and Buddy Saucy Dogs. Please show your support and patronage to our great, our great uh, businesses like Buddy's. All right, that's it, folks.